can't see me. Let's go. What up, what, what, what up, y'all? You can't see me here today back again. You already know what it is. Today, we are about to install 32 gigs of RAM in a Lenovo Y700 laptop. Um, so for those of y'all who don't know how to do it, I'm going to show you step by step. So first, you want to gather all of your tools. You want to get your memory. Make sure you have a screwdriver, a small Phillips head. Um, you want to get some type of flat end tool, similar to like a butter knife, to open the laptop. And you'll want to have the user's manual, but that's optional, but uh, the manual of the RAM and or the laptop, just to make sure you can check on everything, all right? So let's go on and jump right into it. So the Lenovo laptop has 11 screws all around the perimeter, and then it has one in the center. So you'll want to unscrew all of these, which I am about to do. And make sure you keep up with all your screws, okay? Don't lose those because you're going to need them. So now this next part can be a little tricky, and that's opening, as you see me trying to apply pressure, opening the case because they seal it so neatly. That's why I recommend a butter knife or a flathead screwdriver, or I even used a knife in a tool kit, uh, but you need something that's small, very flat, but sharp enough to wedge in between. And it's not easy to do, let me tell you. It took a little finagling, but I would say start on one of the sides and kind of wiggle it and wedge it open and then slide down and if you just keep working with it you'll eventually get it open but it's not easy and be careful because you can't scratch it and and damage it so something rubber but flat like a screwdriver probably helps to make it easier but keep working with it and you'll get it open once you get it open then you can kind of lift and pull forward because it is wedged in all right and now that we've lifted the case off you'll see this samsung uh, hard drive the SSD I installed I'm gonna do a video on that to so look out for it but beside that is this aluminum foil looking cover sleeve and under it if you lift up is your RAM now this one came with 16 already installed and you'll see the silver uh, brackets that hold in the memory and what you want to do is pull them apart because it's spring loaded and you'll see that it popped up the RAM at an angle. So you'll want to pull it out at that same angle. And you want to remember that because you'll load it in at that same angle. So you pull out the first one. You see the brackets again, the silver brackets holding it in. They're spring loaded. Pull them apart and it will release the memory. And it rises up. You see that it lifts up naturally. So just let it do what it does naturally. And you'll pull those out. And then we'll get prepared to put our new rib jaws ddr4 so dim in them so i'm gonna take them out the package and we'll put it in so like i said you want to put it in at that angle that it came out in naturally so just sit it in and then you just push it down you don't even have to pull the brackets back out you sit it in you seat it properly in there it's only one way it can go because there's a holder and bam pop it down naturally and then you'll want to just pick up your other ram and we're going to do the same thing it's already up at a slight angle. You'll want to load it in naturally. It's only one way that it can fit. Once it seats in properly, you just push it down and it clicks. See that? And I'm just showing you, and bam, you push it down and it clicks and you're good. I mean, that's basically it. The hard part is actually opening it more so than putting it in. And make sure you check out the video if you want to change your factory SSD uh, your factory hard drive to an SSD drive so just put the cover back over it kind of fits under those screws you don't even have to unscrew them you just seat it under and then you get ready to replace your cover and your screws and you're basically done that's all it takes to upgrade your memory in your laptop and so we've just replaced the case um, the back part kind of wraps over the back end of the laptop. And so you set the frame in over the speakers and you will remove it in the exact opposite direction. And then you're going to replace your screws and we'll be completed. And what I recommend is putting all your screws in first, sitting them in this hole and then screwing them in individually after that. It's just easier that way. But yeah, that's basically it. We're done. So if you have any questions about installing your memory, or even SSD, and make sure you look out for that video, which will be on the way, how I installed the SSD to upgrade it and make your computer boot 
10 times faster or more, let me know in the comments. Any questions on installing this memory, okay? Um, and you can know you can hit me up on Twitter. Um, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, even Tumblr. I'm all over the, the social networking site. So just hit me up with any questions or tips. Um, if you got a better way to do it or ways that'll help people, man, we love sharing that information, okay? You can see me, another installation. You know what you must do above all things. Make your next move your best move, all right? Peace. You can't see me. Let's go. Thank you for checking me out at You Can't See Me TV. I'm You Can't See Me Gamer. Please like and subscribe to stay updated and check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All right, peace.